with Caleb out, you guys having to go or not having the ability to go four guards as much. How does that change what you're doing defensively? Um, I think we really haven't tried to change anything. Um, obviously, it's different with different lineups, um, but our We've been trying to play the same, same ball pressure, same uh, tactics, and uh, just try to speed up the other team and uh, rebound down. And so I wouldn't say we made any changes specifically because he's been out. I'd just say we haven't been doing the job that we needed to have been doing. How are you doing physically now here in late February of your first Big 12 season? Yeah, it's a grind. Um, I don't think anyone on our team is 100%. Everyone's tired, everyone's fatigued. Uh, but that's every team in the league because every night's a battle. Uh, so it's just focusing on the, the days off that you have and um, getting your your body right. So um, I feel good, and I think most of our most, most of our guys feel good too. We've talked a lot about your guys' struggles on the road, but now to get back-to-back -back home games, how are you guys viewing that? Yeah, I think we're looking forward to it a lot. Uh, we love playing here. It's hard for opposing teams to come in here and play. Um, it's a great place, great atmosphere. We wish all of our games were in here. Um, but yeah, we take a lot of pride in playing in Hilton. So uh, we're going to come out and the fans are going to be on our side. What makes Oklahoma a tough matchup? Um, they're a good team. We played them close the first time down uh, at their place. So uh, we know they're not going to give up on anything. They're a hard, hard fought team, just like every team in the Big 12. Um, they got some good players that can make a lot of shots, like Sherfield. Uh, Gabe did a great job on them last time. Uh, so we're going to really just focus down on defense, uh, getting stops, and rebounding. Robert, I'll, I'll uh, jump right in with you here. What, uh, what makes Tanner Groves a tough matchup? Uh, he's big. He plays physical. has a lot of lower body. He plays uh, through fouls really well. Um, uh, he's good in the post because he, he, he's found out a way to push you out as well in your catches and while you're making moves. Rob, how defensively do things change for you guys when you're playing next to you know, either Trey or Jazz, where you guys are, have bigger lineups than you had probably before Caleb went out? Uh, it's nice because we have a lot more size inside. But uh, what, we, what we make up in size, we give up in quickness. So I mean, uh, you give up, you give up, you, you gain that size inside. So you know you have more of a presence, more length. Uh, but the the flying around aspect of our defense kind of uh, diminishes a little bit just because it's. Uh, Taller people move around a little slower. Does anything change for you in that situation, like where you have to recover differently when you're playing next to one of those guys when you're kind of doing your thing at the five, regardless? I like to say I, I, nothing changes from my position. I like to say that uh, I like to play everything uh, kind of the same, and then rely on my teammates to do what they need to do, regardless of who's in the game. When you guys, excuse me, when you guys are taking charges, which you, you know you involved in that a lot, do you kind of? Gauge how it's being that's being called in the game, and then you know use that as a guide for for the remainder of the game. And I'm not look, I'm not looking to criticize officials. Do not get me wrong, but I mean, do you use some guys call it, some guys don't. I mean, do you get, do you use that as a guide to how to proceed in there? I say a little bit, but I mean, end of the day, you can't let the refs dictate what you need to do. So. Uh, regardless of how they're calling it, you still want to step up and try to take those charges regardless of how the game's going. You want to still try to be in that position because e even if you don't get the charge, usually that, that contact on a shot is enough to deter the shot. So uh, they might, might make a miss. And regardless of if they call a foul, a block, or a charge, the, that missed shot is better than the made shot regardless of the situation. Tim, in the last two games you guys have had extended droughts offensively, I think of four or five minutes a couple different times. What's breaking down in those periods that's not allowing you guys to have success? I'd say just the ball is not moving well. Uh, I'd say we've been focusing a lot on in practice, just moving the ball, uh, keep cutting, keep moving, just keeping the defense off balance. Because when they get to relax, that makes it harder for us to get in the paint and get easy buckets. So uh, just moving it around and just not letting your guys stand still and just trying to get into the paint more. Is that mostly the off ball stuff? Because it doesn't seem like the ball necessarily sticks with any of your guys at times. Yeah, it's definitely off ball, just setting flare screens, setting pin down, setting staggers, uh, just getting guys open looks. Like uh, for Gabe, we're gonna, we set a lot of screens for him and Caleb, and then that opens up drives for me and Jaron and other guys. Hey, guys, really for either of you, 
you know, Coach Otzelberger talked about the, the quick start in Norman and how important kind of being the aggressor is. How important is that to propel you guys, not only at home, you know, behind the fans, but really to reach your ceiling the rest of the way? Uh, I'd say uh, that's like our, like our first and foremost every game, like starting the game, starting the half, being the aggressor. Um, there's a lot of people, like, when you come out and punch them in the mouth, they're just going to take a step back and reevaluate what they're doing. So that's kind of our goal is to always try to attack first, uh, make, make the other team take a step back, call a timeout, um, and really set the tone every time. Samman, can you talk about the cutter aspect and how big that is offensively? Because you can move the ball all you want if defense is in good position. That's going to get you the open look, but it seems like cutters have really been huge for you guys uh, on the offensive end. Yeah, I'd say a lot of focus is on um, our great shot makers like Gabe and Caleb. Uh, a lot of teams try to deny them the ball, which opens up the floor. So when they make great cut cuts, that opens up drives or that opens up passes in the post to Rob or Shun or TK, and that gets easy buckets like that. So um, really any guy cutting opens the floor. If that's someone like Gabe who's being hugged up on or if it's uh, someone else that's sort of being sagged off in the paint, just being physical, it always opens up space for others to make plays.